In this problem, we want to evaluate the area of this isosceles triangle, whose sides are 8, 8 again, and 6. Now you should be aware of Heron's formula, which will give you the area of any triangle, not necessarily isosceles, as long as you know its sides. But in this situation, you really want to take advantage of the isosceles property of the triangle. And when you work with isosceles triangles, you almost always want to draw this special line, which cuts the triangle into two exactly equal parts. It acts as the median of this side, as the bisector of this angle, and as the height of the triangle. So why don't we draw it in? All right, now the base is divided into two equal parts, each of length three. And we can now apply the Pythagorean theorem to this right triangle to determine the length of the height. The hypotenuse is 8 and one of the sides is 3. Therefore, the other side is the square root of 8 squared minus 3 squared, or 64 minus 9. In other words, it's the square root of 55. And now we can evaluate the area of this triangle because it's half the base times the height or 3 times square root of 55. There you go. Isosceles triangles are simple and beautiful, aren't they? Hey, thanks for watching. Click on this logo to check out our complete SAT math platform. And if you know someone studying for the SATs, please let them know about it. Thank you. Hey, got it on the very first.